In this video, we're going to be taking an early first look at the upcoming Argon 1UP laptop from Argon 40. Just looking at the unit, it looks like a run-of-the-mill laptop. It's pretty thin, it's actually pretty light, but Argon 40 has done something really interesting here. They reached out to me about this a couple months ago, and I've been really excited about this. Uh, it took a little while to get here, but basically what we've got here is a Raspberry Pi powered laptop. In fact, it's using the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 5, otherwise known as the Raspberry Pi CM5, so we've got that more powerful CPU and faster RAM. It does support a 2280 M.2 SSD. It's constructed of aluminum. We've got a backlit keyboard. And if we take a closer look at this keyboard, we've actually got that Raspberry Pi key, which is something that I love to see on something like this. And in the past, you know, we've seen Raspberry Pi powered laptops, but most of them are coming in pretty thick or you got to plug a Raspberry Pi into the side of it. But the Argon 1UP looks like a real laptop. If this was sitting on a desk, I personally wouldn't know any better until I booted it up. It's got a beautiful IPS display. It's actually a 14 inch with a resolution of 1920 by 1200. When it comes to IO over here on the right hand side, we've got one USB 3.0 port, one USB 2.0 port, micro SD card slot, and the 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Over on the left hand side, from the left to the right, USB Type-C, which is here just to charge that battery up, and they do recommend the Raspberry Pi charger, but you can use a 45 watt charger for this unit also. Full-size HDMI, it'll do up to 4K out, another full-size USB 3 port, and two USB Type-C ports. Individually, these USB Type-C ports only run at USB 2.0 speeds, but Argon has done something really amazing with this. Now, one of the main claim to fames for a Raspberry Pi are its GPIO pins, and we haven't seen them on this laptop just yet. And that's because the Argon 1UP laptop comes with a specialized adapter that plugs directly into those two USB Type-C ports. And from here, we now have GPIO access. It does have a power button, so you can actually disable it. It's going to send 5 volts out, just like the GPIO on the Raspberry Pi. I thought this was awesome. And with other Raspberry Pi powered laptops on the market, they either leave it out completely or they have the pins just sticking right out of the side. This is fully custom from Argon 40. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how they did this, but it's pretty amazing. Everything's going to be running through those two USB Type-C ports. So again, this is more of a first look video. I do need to spend a little more time with this, but so far it's been working out great. Keyboard feels pretty decent here. We've got that dedicated Raspberry Pi key and we've got a trackpad that supports multi-touch. The keyboard is also backlit. It's just a single zone white LED backlight with brightness control. And the CM5 module I have in this one is the 8 gig model with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So we've got Wi-Fi 5 here. We can browse the web. Got that multi-touch work in here so we can scroll through our web pages. Really nice little setup. I mean, I do love what they've done here. Again, it feels like a real laptop. And Argon 40 has added their own software here for uh, battery control. This will give us a battery readout. And it's pretty cool because the icon on screen itself is accurate. So it'll tell you the battery percentage right there with that icon. And you can actually open this up in terminal just to check it out. You can see we're at 79% here and it changes on the fly. Really cool. I did want to take a quick look at the internals and on the bottom, there's this hatch, eight screws. This will come right up just like the rest of the unit. It is aluminum. This is going to act like a heat sink for the CM5 module. And once we get down in here a bit closer, you can see we've got a 2280 M.2 SSD, fully user replaceable. And if the Pi Foundation does keep that same footprint or form factor that we have with the CM5, we could upgrade to a CM6 in the future. Also looks like we've got a fan here. Now I'm not exactly sure how this is working. I think it might just be blowing air right across the CM5 itself, but we've got a little intake vent and you can see there is a fan inside. As we know, there's a bunch of Raspberry Pi CM5 models, some with built-in storage, some with four gigs of RAM, eight, and I believe they make a 16 now. I've got the eight gig version here with no internal storage. As we saw, it's got that SSD from Argon. And I did run a quick benchmark just to check out the speeds. Sequential write, uh, target for the CM5 or the Raspberry Pi 5 is 10,000. We're over 845,000. Random write, uh, target is 500. We're at 81,000. And random read target there is 1500. We're at 50,000. So this is miles ahead of a micro SD card that we could use in a Raspberry Pi. For a system based on a Raspberry Pi, we're working with some pretty fast storage here. 
And I did check out the clocks. We're just at the stock clocks that run on the CM5. I didn't know if they maybe underclocked it or not. I think in my next video on this thing, we'll do a little bit of overclocking. I also figured we could check out some video playback while we're here. And we're at 1080. This is uh, 1080 60 running from YouTube. We've got Wi-Fi 5 built in here with that CM5. Not bad. Got a couple drop frames here and there, and that's kind of a given with the Raspberry Pi system. Going down to 720, it would still look good on this display, but if I didn't have that frame counter on, I'd be totally fine with the way this is playing right now. I also wanted to install a couple emulators, and the first one we have here is the Redrain emulator for some Dreamcast. Sonic Adventure 2 running at 60 FPS up in the top left hand corner. I've got that frame counter on. Not too bad. I mean, it definitely looks good here on this display. We've got stereo speakers, and they do sound pretty decent. Little tinny, and I kind of figured that would be the case with something like this. But again, this is Argon 40's second prototype, so this could definitely improve before final production. Next up, we've got some PSP emulation using PPSSPP. I'm at 2x resolution with uh, Soul Calibur Broken Destiny. It seems to be running pretty consistently at 60 FPS, and I'm actually using a DS4 or PlayStation 4 controller connected over Bluetooth. And if you're not familiar with the company that makes this, I mean, they've come through with some really awesome Raspberry Pi accessories, uh, cases, M.2 adapters, and this is going to be launching on Kickstarter. I'm not exactly sure when, but I will leave a link to kind of their front page in case you want to learn a little more about it. There's a lot of information over there right now. It's not posted on their website just yet. We've just kind of got this little blurb over here on Kickstarter. But so far, this thing has been great. It's definitely the best Raspberry Pi powered laptop that I've tested over here on the channel. Love the fact that they were able to keep this thing so thin. Looks like a real laptop. Fully constructed of aluminum. That's definitely a plus. We've got that 14 inch display resolution of 1920 by 1200. So it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. And the fact that they were able to get, you know, the GPIO adapter working over those USB type C ports is pretty awesome in my opinion. I'm going to spend some more time with this. I want to get some battery life testing out of the way, test out that GPIO. We'll probably do a little bit of overclocking, so I will have another video coming. And if there's anything else you want to see tested or running on the Argon 1UP laptop, just let me know in the comments below. But in the meantime, if you want to learn a little more about the Argon 1UP laptop, I'll leave some links in the description. Uh, I'll leave a link to their website and that Kickstarter page. Not exactly sure when it's going to be going live, but I think you can sign up for updates right now. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Keep an eye out for my next video. And like always, thanks for watching.